Hi students, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the topic capital budgeting. So when you're taking this particular topic, you can see regularly questions from this particular topic. For every exam, you can find a question from this particular topic. So when you're considering about some exams, you can see two or more questions are actually asked from this particular area. We know that in case of this uh, financial finance, the subject finance, they are going to ask you like nine to 10 questions related to that. And in that number of questions, they are act actually asking two or three questions from this capital budgeting. See how much important this topic is. So let's take or let's see the question which got asked on June 2024, shift two. So here is the question, which of the following capital budgeting techniques follows the discounting criteria? See, this is a direct question. Okay, when you're just considering this type of question, you can say it's a simple form of question. It's about the basic classification related to capital budgeting. And uh, there are a combination of options like net present value, benefit cost ratio, accounting rate of return, IRR, payback period, etc. And when you're just taking this particular topic, capital budgeting, which all are the areas are important or how much or what types of question you can actually expect from this area that is important. So when you are dealing with the topic, it is important that you need to identify the areas which are important to be considered while studying that particular topic. So when you're just taking this capital budgeting, you, you need to study about its basic meaning, steps related to that and the traditional and modern concept. This traditional and modern means uh, you can also call traditional method as non-discounting technique and modern technique as discounting technique. Uh, it's because in case of modern technique, we will consider time value of money. That's why it is known as discounting technique. Then you need to study about the equations related to both these traditional and modern techniques. And sometimes you can expect problems to also from numerical questions also from this particular area and when you're just considering about this modern technique the relationship between NPV and IRR is also important. So when you're just taking this particular topic these all areas must be covered okay. So you can actually expect questions from these all areas so it's very very important to deal with all these areas. So uh, it is very difficult to explain each and uh, every point which is which I just got displayed you here. So we will discuss about the basic thing related to traditional and modern techniques and uh, based on that we can solve the questions which first we saw. Uh, but when you are taking, see all these topics are very important. Okay, so in our LMS platform, we just listed and we just uh, properly explained all these concepts with its practice problem. I, when you are taking about this problems, numerical problems, lots of numerical problems solved including previous year questions were solved. So when you are dealing with a particular topic, it is very important that you should go through the previous year question. That will give you a basic framework or idea that how you have to deal or how to deal with this particular topic. Anyway, let's say about the basic things related to this. That is capital budgeting. See, capital budgeting means it's like a combination of two words, capital and budgeting. So we are actually estimating about the future requirement, like it's something related to capital expenditure. What is this capital expenditure? See, capital expenditure means it's a long-term uh, expenditure or it's like you will get the benefit from that particular item on a long term. Okay, you're not going to uh, get the complete benefit within a year. It will take time. Okay, that will last for future periods. So spending funds for large expenditures like purchasing of fixed assets and equipment, replacement to fixed asset or equipment, research and development expansion, all these can be considered as a situation of capital budgeting. And what is this capital budgeting decision? See, we are actually using this techniques in order to find a decision. Like uh, you will have a number of uh, options, like alternatives will be there. Either you can choose project A, project B. Here you need to identify which project is favorable for you or which project will give you more benefit. Okay, so in order to identify or in order to select the best one, you need to go through the capital budgeting technique. Okay. And when you're just considering this particular process, you can say that it is something, a process which is irreversible in nature because it is not so easy to reverse the huge amount which you got spent for this particular thing. Okay, that's why it is known as irreversible in nature. These points are very important. Sometimes when you're just considering the previous year question, uh, I think it's like uh, November 2017. On uh, During that period, there were a question which is related to the nature of this capital, capital budgeting. Okay, so all these points are quite important. 
anyway we'll just come with the classification see you can basically classify this uh, capital budgeting technique into two traditional and modern in case of traditional there are payback period and arr arr means accounting rate of return or average rate of return and when you're coming with this modern technique it include npv that is net present value pi that is profitability index we will call it also as benefit cost ratio then irr internal rate of return modified irr and discounted payback period all these are coming under the head of modern technique and what is this traditional and modern technique see traditional technique means it's a conventional form that means you are using it for many years and you're just going through the same pattern uh, so uh, that's also is a non discounting technique why it's a non discounting technique because here we are not at all considering about the time value of money okay the time value of money is not at all considered in this case that means when you are just considering what what is this time value of money see uh, if i am just giving you a 1000 rupee today and if i am going to give you the same 1000 rupees after one year when you are considering with these two situation the 1000 uh, rupees that i am paying you today is valuable but the same amount after one year means the purchasing power all these will be reduced when you are just considering about the same thing say uh, earlier if i just give you 100 rupees maybe you will be able to uh, buy a packet full of or uh, a vegetables but now if i am giving you you will be able to fill only half of that portion this is because the purchasing power got decreased or the price for products got increased so that difference should be considered that means 1000 rupees the value of 1000 rupees today and after one year is there is a long there is a huge difference okay so such a difference is considered through the term of time value of money but which is not considered in case of this traditional technique but when you are taking this modern concept or modern technique which is also known as discounted technique this is because which considers time value of money and which is considered more scientific method or time adjusted method here we are considering all the benefits and all expenses related to a particular project so this is considered to be much more better method okay and when you just coming through the classification as i already mentioned these are the traditional methods and these are the modern methods okay anyway let's come back to this question which of the following capital budgeting techniques follows the discounting criteria so we just mentioned about the types basic types that is discounted methods and non discounted methods but we didn't go through much about each of this concept so if you want to know more about this concept is it is better uh, to follow our channel you can do subscribe our channel to get more ideas related to all this concept which is related to commerce okay so uh, when you're coming with the first one net present value see from this topic net present value you can expect uh, theory question and also problem questions okay numerical question you can expect numerical question from this particular area and uh, uh, what is this benefit cost ratio benefit cost ratio is another name for profitability index as i already mentioned arr is accounting rate of return irr is internal rate of return and finally payback period so now you need to identify the discounted techniques that means modern techniques a net present value will be there b benefit cost ratio will be there is there c no which is traditional concept and d will be there and e no so a b d okay so actually if you if you are not able to identify each and everything in in situation of a combination type question what you can do is you can identify the one with the options like here you know that net present value will be there so you can just go through the options and here you need to uh, identify the options which include a and you can eliminate those options which is excluding a okay so here you can see you can eliminate option b because a is not there okay so that's the first step you can do and again you can coming back to this question we know that b is actually included that means you have to choose an option with both a and b so here in this situation you can eliminate option d because here b is not there now there are two options a b c d and a b d so what you have to identify is that whether c is there or not if c is there you can go for option a and if c is not correct you can go for option c what about c accounting rate of return which is not a part so you can go for option c that is a b d only so correct answer for this question is option c so this topic is very very important okay and as as i already mentioned it will be very difficult to explain 
all these concepts in this particular video. So uh, we already uploaded so many videos related to this uh, capital budgeting techniques in our LMS platform. We are actually going through a very systematic way and uh, this is the way you can actually expect questions from this particular area. So it is important that you should identify how questions are asked from a particular area and you need to work upon that. That is called smart work which is very important for a competitive exam like NTA UGC net exam. Anyway, there were another question on the same shift which is also related to capital budgeting and it is about arranging the steps related to capital budgeting process and see it includes uh, uh, all these options were given and you need to identify the correct combination related to this okay anyway we already explained about the basics related to capital budgeting technique and uh, just try to uh, work out this particular question uh, by yourself and I hope this video will help you for your preparation thank you and happy learning